Domestic violence can leave many scars, both emotionally and physically, but now surgeons are helping erase the physical ones. They are part of a special program that is offering free plastic surgery to the victims of domestic violence. Michelle Charlesworth has the story. When he grabbed me and started to slit my throat. Every day, the scars on Carla's neck remind her that her ex-husband uh, tried to kill her. And every day, she wears a scarf, which is why this is tough. She has one four-inch mark across one side and then more horizontal scars on the other. Choked me, left me for dead. He ran out the house. And I came to only by the grace of God. Somehow she survived and a therapist told her about a program called Face to Face. The American Academy of Facial Plastic Surgery 10 years ago decided to create a, a program called the National Domestic Violence Project. Uh, and it basically takes care, treats women who are victims of domestic violence and we do uh, reconstructive surgery and cosmetic surgery pro bono. That's great. So this will cost her nothing? This will cost her absolutely nothing. Dr. Miller has performed a number of face-to-face -face surgeries. Normally, the kind Carla's getting would cost at least $8,000. What kind of a difference do you see after women come out of the surgery? There's an increased self-confidence. There's an increased self-esteem. There's a sense of closure. It's wonderful that you're doing this for other people, but it, this is for you. Okay, so, so stay focused on that, and I want you to know I'm focused on that. And I'm not thinking about anything else but going into that operating room that morning and helping you. The next morning, after strategizing over photographs, it was time. What about the first thing that you look forward to doing once the surgery is over? And everything's healed. What's the first thing you want to do? I'm going to buy a necklace. <laughs> You haven't worn a necklace in a year and a half? Yeah. Two hours and 500 stitches later, look at the result. What was wide and raised is now flat. And the 24-year-old who always wore neck scarves is dreaming of jewelry. Oh, my God. No oh regrets. All right, so anybody who says they might want to do this, you would tell them what? Do it. Yeah. Uh, you're do it and don't look back. In Manhattan, Michelle Charlesworth, ABC7, Eyewitness News.